Hey, which would you rather do? Spend a grueling hour on the treadmill or just pop a pill? Science may have cracked the code when it comes to working out without breaking a sweat. Watch. Proper exercise takes more time, more effort and dedication than most people are willing to tackle. Well, for all you immovable objects in the living room, there's something big to cheer about. Research scientists have finally found a way to bottle exercise in a pill. That's right, sometime soon, you may be able to enjoy the benefits of exercise without working up a bead of sweat. For now, the drug is still in the research stage. But here's what the data shows. Inactive mice taking the drug for four weeks burned more calories and had less fat than untreated mice. And when tested on a treadmill, they could run about 44% farther and 23% longer than untreated mice. Someday, researchers say, such a drug might help treat obesity, diabetes, and people with medical conditions which keep them from exercising. However, critics of the drug say exercise has such widespread benefits for the body, they doubt any one pill will ever be able to supply all of the positives of a strenuous workout. So, for most people, they say it would be better to do exercise than to take an exercise substance. But for many, hope remains that what worked so well for the mouse will work for the man. Yes, you saw a mouse running on a <laughs> treadmill there. Uh, hopefully we'll have more footage of that. Joining us to weigh in on this subject, medical expert Dr. Mark Siegel is here. We also have the author of The F Factor Diet, nutritionist Tanya Zuckerberg. And from New York's Pure Power Boot Camp trainer, Lauren Brenner is back with us. Good to have you back. So, Doc, this, I mean, I know Lauren is going to be mad at me and Tanya Zuckerberg is going to be mad too, but this sounds like a dream. <laughs> It's a dream come true. I've got to tell you, this is actually real science. I mean, the Salk Institute in San Diego, Dr. Evans, these are real researchers. This is real science. Now, what they do is the pill causes the cell to make more of type 1 fibers, which have more mitochondria, which is the engine that drives muscles. It's been shown that they increase the number of these very important fibers. Now, the problem is these are mice we're talking about, and mice live for about a year, so you can't study this for long enough to know if there are long-term side effects. We don't know if they'll work in humans. They could have a long-term effect on helping people that are, as you said in the setup, wheelchair-bound, people yeah. with muscular dystrophy, Goodness, people, really? people with strokes. But what about abusing this for sports? What about the idea that uh, people that are just couch potatoes Would are going to get lazy? Would it be abusive if people are just couch potatoes? I'm worried, like about, I'm worried about that because, because, you know, there's a lot of positive benefits of exercise. Well, it almost seems like a steroid. It's like a super steroid, possibly without the side effects. But again, there's many benefits of exercise. Helps your digestion, good for your brain, helps your, your hormones in your brain. Let's, uh, okay, of mice and men. It works on mice. Well, I want it to work on a man. <laughs> would, it, would my muscles develop? Would, would my muscles get harder? That's exactly what they're finding in mice, that, that the muscles are getting harder, that even the heart is working a little More better. More endurance. More endurance. Um, I think that the science of this may actually bear out. Zuckerbrot, what do you think? This is crazy. This is nuts. First of all, obviously exercise has so many health benefits. But when it comes to weight management, it's calories in versus calories out. I know this one woman. She's at the gym. She's on the treadmill next to me. For five years, she's been working out so hard. She hasn't lost a pound. I want to say to her, lady, what are you eating when you leave this place? <laughs> it, comes not, down, not a good idea. it comes down to calories in versus calories out. So even if this is increasing your metabolism and building muscle, if you're still eating more than your body's burning, you're not going to have the body you want. It's still not going to result in weight loss. So bad food, junk food, would negate the pill? For ex of course, because, for example... Don't all, yell at me. <laughs> I'm so annoyed by this thing. If a 150-pound person ran five miles per hour for an hour, they would burn around 550 calories. Guess what? One New York City bagel is 560 calories. One slice of pizza is 600 calories. That this pill cannot negate excess calories. Well, and Lauren, here's the thing. When you work out, you feel good about yourself. You. And that a pill That's cannot do. I, I don't dispute that the, the research, research is great. However, skinny doesn't mean healthy. Look at anorexia or bulimia. or Just because you're skinny doesn't mean you're healthy, it seems in to, shape. But Lauren, it seems to build muscle. You know, this is one of these things. The building of the muscle thing. First of all, let's go back to psychological facts. You know, the, the serotonin levels, the endorphin rush, there's nothing like sweating. Actual real sweating. Sitting on a, t on, on a couch and taking a pill is not going to make you sweat. 
how you feel after an exercise. A yeah, routine. mentally, the, you the mentally endorphins, feel, all that. I thankfully don't have weight problems. I have other problems we can talk about later. Well, <laughs> <laughs> psychological problems. We can talk about that. That's a whole new topic. Um, but if I don't exercise, if I don't work out, I am not a yeah. happy person to be around. Okay, this pill has yet to be tested on humans, as Dr. Siegel said, but is a quick fix already on the market for you. Too good to be true. We'll be right back. Stick around. I want to know about this slim. The Salk Institute in California came out with a study showing that new drugs could give mice the benefits of exercise. Just yeah. a pill. The research. There, there's the little mousey right now. I love that shot. The research has running, yet to running, be running. tested on humans, though, but there are pills on the market right now that already claim to help you lose weight without exercise. One of those is called Slim 30 Weight Loss, and here's what the company recommends for the first time users. Don't start a new diet or exercise right away when you start Slim 30. Why? Because we want to see, we want to be able to see the results of Slim 30 without making any other changes to your lifestyle. No other changes. Here with their take on <laughs> Slim 30, our investigative panel, Dr. Mark Siegel is here, nutritionist Tanya Zuckerbrot. Trainer Lauren Brenner is with us, and joining us is attorney John Patrick Dolan, so you know it's getting serious. Okay, so Mark, let me just read a couple of the, uh, the, uh, things that they have in here. Chinese hawthorn fruit, sickle pod seneseed, oyster shell, sacred lotus leaf. It oh. sounds divine. Well, first of all, some of those herbs can actually cause your blood pressure to be lowered. And I have to say, we're going from the sublime to the ridiculous here. You know, Americans, <laughs> we have an obesity epidemic in the United mm -hmm. States. None of us are exercising enough. We're all eating improperly. This stuff, first of all, they say it's okay to eat whatever you want. It's okay to not, to, not to exercise. I think if you gave a mouse this stuff, it would probably fall over on the treadmill rather than, rather than increase its exercise. It's tolerance. just herbs, basically. Well, well some of the, dangerous? But, well, it can lower blood pressure. So, there's a diuretic in there. There's something that's a laxative in there. I mean, you can't just give people pills without knowing how much you're giving them. It can be easily abused. I think that this is a dangerous problem. Well, let's jump over to John Patrick. Well, first of all, Slim 30 has a few testimonials on their website, yes. but there are no names attached to these testimonials. <laughs> yeah. So here's one from an anonymous person. This product is great. I was on it for three months and lost a lot of weight. I got pregnant, so I stopped taking it. After losing the baby, I was in a depression, but I'm feeling better now and I'm ready to start again for the new year. This product is great. That is the weirdest testimony. <laughs> that is, isn't that well, what kind of testimonial is that? But how can they make all these claims and you know, things like that with no, no sort person. of... Well, people can make claims all they want. I mean, you know, the First Amendment still applies, and since we're not talking about real drugs, we're talking about herbs, they can do that. But when you see a testimonial like that, you say, lawsuit waiting to happen, uh, because they even say in their product, don't take it if you're pregnant. Some lady goes on a testimonial. Why they didn't put this on? I don't know. The only question is, how do you latch on to some dough with these people? I think it's a multi-level marketing thing, and I think once your money goes into the system, it sort of disappears to yeah. uh, the Canary Islands or something. Well, it gets even weirder. When customers get their order of Slim 30, they see this graphic on the pamphlet showing the, <laughs> look at this, showing the target areas that you can work on without exercise. Pippi Longstocking there working out. Lauren, I mean, look at that. That's marketing genius. You have this hot little girl with a great little fitness outfit on saying you want great abs, you want a great booty, pop this pill. You want great abs, you have to get on the floor and do crunches. You want a great booty, you got to do pro power booty. Kind of like that. <laughs> oh, well. Green Valley Health Products, by the way, the maker of Slim 30, declined our offer to come on the show and we're very sad about it. But that. Tanya, is it dangerous? Well, if this is taken in excess, this could be dangerous. As I said, there's something called seneseed in there, yeah. which is a laxative, which could then leach out very important vitamins and nutrients. My issue with this is that they are really making claims that are saying you could eat all the extra ice cream you sure. want. And that actually could end up leading to weight gain. Another issue with some of these exercise pills is that we know for a fact that exercise does increase metabolism, builds muscle, and guess what? It also stimulates appetite. So you know what? Maybe taking too many of these pills may actually lead you to be hungrier and eat more and gain weight. Whoa, Tanya. <laughs> Thank you all very much.